Hey guys, what's up? Did that shot look all right to you? So as many of you know, this is my beloved Moulin bass and it was stolen just over a month ago, which super bummed. <laughs> it was not a, a good morning. But luckily, with the help of you guys, the bass community, uh, we were able to all rally together and get this back. And with this in mind, I thought it'd be, like essentially I woke up that morning and found, I'm gonna tell you the whole story of you know what happened in a minute, but I found that the bass was gone and I had to kind of figure out what to do. I didn't really know what to do, so I was like looking online, trying to find resources and, and some instructions, some, some kind of like framework. If your instrument is stolen, here's what to do. And I couldn't really find anything. So I thought that is what I do for you guys because I went through this whole process a couple of weeks ago and I ended up getting the bass back. So I thought I'd save you the trouble if it ever happens to you and put together this cool little resource together for you. But the bass, where did it go? Well, like a complete plonker, yep, yeah, that's our uh, term here in the UK. I'm not sure about you guys over in the US, but like a complete plonker, I left my gear in the car. 100% 24 karat plonker he really is. <laughs> I know, I know, before any of you say in the comments, you should never leave gear in the car. I know you should never leave gear in the car, right? I left it in the car and somebody stole it from the car. So to save you the trouble, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did to get it back. Number one is I called the police because all of the other steps or a lot of the other steps are gonna be a lot easier if you've got a crime number. Um, and if you file it with the police, don't you'll file it and then they'll say, hey, here's your crime number. And then so if you're contacting shops or anything like that, you can say, hey, here's the crime number. You know, here's my mobile, etc., etc." So number one, register it with the police. Number two is to reach out to local retailers that sell secondhand goods. So in the UK, it's stuff like cash converters. And I'm sure that you guys all over the world have got your own um, version of this and essentially it's like loads of um, secondhand goods and if you are a criminal it's likely on your you know on your top of list <laughs> you know when when I've got some stolen goods I'm going to take it straight to cash converters and try and um, exchange it for some money as fast as possible so cash converters guys um, for people in the UK anybody else a similar type of vibe people that are selling secondhand gear number three is to monitor eBay and other online retailers like Craigslist for instance, right? But eBay, this was actually found on eBay. And this is the killer bit for 120 pounds. Okay, so these like 2000 plus instruments, $2,000 plus instruments. And, and the guy, Eddie, Eddie, you absolutely rock. You saved my base, thank you so much. Eddie, the man who um, found this base on eBay. So keep your eye on all of the online retailers. And fourthly, fourth, are we on four? I've written this down here. So number four is you have to use your social media accounts. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I posted so you can see what I did. But it was really the social media um, and the, everybody rallying behind finding this base that fueled it, you know, it coming back to me. If, you, if I hadn't used Facebook um, to, to post about the stolen base, and I would have never gotten it back. And if you don't use Facebook that much, don't worry about it. I hardly use Facebook. I think I post maybe one thing every year on my personal account or something like that, maybe less. I'm super useless when it comes to Facebook. But let me, let me show you exactly what I, what I put so you can mimic it if you have to do this for you, right? Let's check this out. So as you can see, it's just a picture of me. Obviously you need a picture of, the, of your instrument. So if you haven't got a picture of your instrument yet, or the serial number, get it. And then here, it just says, oh, where are we? Here we go, heads up fellow leads bass players and musos, Moulin Precision Bass. So I'm telling them what it is, and then I'm telling where it was. And then here's the details, it's a Molo Moulin P bass, silver. I've, I knew that it had SD for Scott Divine in the serial uh, number. Um, I've told them the colour, exactly what case it was in. Here's a really important bit. If you know anyone who works at a music shop in Yorkshire, any studios, cash converters, big deal, etc., please tag them in the comments. That is super important. You need your post to share and be viral. And obviously, £100 plus beers on me to whoever finds it. And Eddie, 
he knows I um, sent him £100 yesterday. Just to show you how, check this out. So this is how potent this can be, okay? 325 comments, right? 600 likes, this is the important thing, right? 2,200 shares on this post. So getting people to share it is really, really important because that's how the virality is gonna get out there. And people love to help other people out, especially when it comes to stuff like musical instruments because yeah, I mean, like me and you, we're a team and everybody knows that, right? All musicians know that we're a team. And when something goes wrong and somebody steals a piece of gear, we all jump on it and make it right. And that's why using your social accounts is really important when it comes to getting back a stolen musical instrument. Don't be scared of the social accounts. It will really help you out. In fact, the night after I had this Mulan stolen, I was, I was playing in Leeds, I had a gig. I turned up at the gig and the, bar, the girl that was working behind the bar asked me if I'd found my bass. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Do I, I've never seen you in my life. And she was like asking about the bass, it was awesome. So number five is that you can also use social groups within Facebook. So for instance, um, the village that we live in has a community group on Facebook and we went and posted in there and we posted pictures and so, because if somebody steals some gear around where you live, it's likely gonna stay around where you live. And number six is to use online forums like basechat and talkbase.com, right? Go on those, like I had guys, like I didn't ask them to do that, but from that Facebook post I put out, Loads of guys went on to bass chat and they were talking about the bass, etc. etc. So when Eddie found this bass, he went online to search what he'd just bought, and boom, all this material came up about you know about the bass. It was on Facebook, it was on bass chat, it was on talk bass. Ultimately, the bass it came back home. Mwah! So bass community, while I've got you, I just want to say a huge Huge thanks, you guys freaking rock. And thank you so much for helping me get this bass back. And while I've got you, I also wanna ask you about this camera. Is the audio okay? Like I'm having to, long story short, I'm going down to Peter Gabriel's studio, Real World Studios, and we're filming stuff and recording some stuff there for three days. Yes, Peter Gabriel's studio, come on. How cool does it get? Uh, Real World Studios. We're gonna be hanging out there for three days and I thought I'd take a, a camera with me, this camera, and, and film a bit of stuff for you guys so you can see behind the scenes and what it's like in Peter Gabriel's studio. And, uh, and I wanted to know what you guys think of the audio. Is it better, is it worse? Like this is a vloggy style camera, but I wanted to make sure that, you know, it sounded cool. And also massive thanks for the great feedback as well about the lesson that we released last, uh, last week or the week before um, about the lick and we had the theory corner. I made a mistake in the theory corner. We all know, we, can, we don't need to tell anybody that. We can keep it between me and you. Everybody loved the theory corner. I really loved it. So, and you know, basically there's gonna be a ton more videos coming like that. The feedback on the video was amazing. I just wanted to say thanks, a lot of thanks. Guys, you, you guys rock. You are awesome. As always, I'll see you in the shed. Bye.